Hello, Dr. Stephanie Gray with the Integrative Health and Hormone Clinic and Your Longevity Blueprint. I have not done a video in a little while because I've been a little busy, but today <laughs> I'm reminded with the current cold that I have <laughs> that many of you may be wondering what products you can take to help you not get sick or to get over your illness. So typically every year I consume silver. Silver is antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal. And I fully admit that I got off my routine this year having a baby <laughs> and he's eight months old and guess what? He brought some gunk home and we both had a little cold. So that even pilots me back into good behavior. So I need to be taking my silver every single day. <laughs> this is dosed one teaspoon per hundred pounds of body weight. So I take about a teaspoon and a half in the morning, first thing in the morning, put it under my tongue. That allows the silver to get into circulation so that if I'm exposed to bacteria and viruses, whatnot, the silver can fight it off. So you can take this from a maintenance standpoint as I should have been, but I am now taking again and you can take it if you get sick. Even when you have the flu, if you can take it multiple times per day, that would be wonderful to help, um, help you get better. So silver is one option that you can take. Vitamin C is also extremely important. Many people know that it has antiviral properties. Now we do have vitamin C capsules, but I, what I will say is more potent, more effective is a liposomal vitamin C. Um, liposomal uh, delivery is um, technically even nearly as effective as IV. So liposomes are just having an extremely, um, we'll just say high ability to cross the blood brain barrier. It is going to increase the absorption of this vitamin C. So this too can be taken similar to the silver. You can put it right under your tongue. So it's something that I have been taking since I've been getting sick. Um, you also could take multiple times per day. Too much vitamin C could cause a lot of diarrhea, but usually when taken in this form, it shouldn't. So know that this is a really effective, just think of it as a um, super absorbed version of vitamin C. So we do have the liposomal vitamin C. We also have vitamin C gummies uh, for children, which William can't yet have, but as he gets his teeth, one day I'll be putting him on the vitamin C gummies. Many of our patients who do have children speak very highly of these. They, um, they swear by them they think that they have um, inhibited their children from getting sick so you certainly could take some vitamin C this year I also have been taking um, probiotics and vitamin D so probiotics help coat all of your mucous membranes with good bacteria just think of them as providing you another layer of protection so if you're exposed to bad stuff hopefully having this extra layer of protection will inhibit that bacteria um, from winning that war so make sure you take some probiotics for immune support and also knowing we live in Iowa and we're not exposed to the sun year round, take some vitamin D. So we have D3 plus K2. So those are all things that I can take. Now, because I'm still breastfeeding, there are some products that I wish I could be taking that I cannot take, and I will point those out to you as well. So mitochondrial complex is our um, fancy multivitamin. It's the Cadillac of multivitamins. It also includes antioxidants to fuel glutathione and help with detox. I always feel better when I am taking this. So this has been studied on athletes, on high stress individuals. Those taking this product were less likely to get sick, less likely to get upper respiratory infections. So this is something that I highly would advise at least through the winter to help prevent you from getting sick. On top of that, we do have a viral support product called Virus Support. This is loaded with natural antivirals. You've probably heard of some of these ingredients, astragalus, elderberry, andrographis, echinacea, and even lysine. This is something that should be taken right away when you're coming down with an illness, whether it be the flu or um, upper respiratory infection, cold, um, like symptoms that you're having. So you can take one to two every couple hours for 24 hours right away to stop the replication of that virus. And then you can take one to two ongoing from a maintenance standpoint. So this is handy to have on hand, um, as is the silver, right? That you can really hit hard if you are exposed to something if you think you're getting sick. We also have sinus support, which works a little different after you have the cold <laughs> um, to thin the viscosity of the secretions to get the junk out of your airways. Um, this contains N-acetylcysteine, which will do just that. It has turmeric, which is an anti-inflammatory, has some immune support. Um, as well, and antifungals, as many sinus infections actually are um, fungus in origin, not just bacteria. So treating that yeast can be very beneficial. So sinus support is something we have as well. And for those of you who have actually completed our yeast um, regimen, one of our difficult regimens that can be very effective for patients, um, you may have the advanced yeast complex on hand. This also can be very effective against bacteria and yeast. So if you're coming down with an illness and you have some of these at home, take one or two per day. They're great from a maintenance standpoint. Also wanted to point out that we do have some cough drops. We do carry the Thieves cough drops. Now, if you have fructose intolerance, if you can't tolerate sugar alcohols, this might not be the best bet for you. Uh, but otherwise, these can soothe a sore throat, relieve a cough. I think they taste really good. They're loaded with essential oils to help you fight off that infection. 
personally, because I don't tolerate sugar alcohols very well, I go to natural grocers and many times I'll purchase this brand. I really like the elderberry zinc lozenges. Um, they also don't have honey. Many of the brands have honey and having fructose intolerance, many people um, cannot tolerate honey. Some can, some can't. I don't do well with it. So I'm always looking for a honey, honey free version and those have worked well for me. So I know I just threw lots of products out at you. Know that we have separate videos on our YouTube channel um, or you can read on our website, yourlongevityblueprint.com, just to read separately about all of the products that I mentioned, but I wanted to throw them all out there so that you feel like you have some ammunition to use as your body could be exposed um, to more bacteria, viruses through the winter, through the flu season. So let us know if you have any questions, feel free to comment under the video. I hope this is helpful and cheers to um, staying healthy this fall and winter.